Oh my god. And it's signed. I'm gonna get that. Fenton. Cobalt blue. Hi guys, well today we are at the Goodwill in Troy. Um, we're gonna go in there and hopefully we can find some stuff to resell. Yep, and after this we'll be going to another uh, live auction. Um, I forgot that we never showed everybody what we won at our, the last auction we went to. So I'm gonna try to figure out a way to show you some of the stuff sold. So maybe I could take a screenshot of what sold. Yeah. Anywho, let's get in there and see what we can find. Alrighty. Let's see what the color is today. It's yellow. Hello. Get my cart. Ooh, what's over here? This. I like that glaze. I love the blue and brown. Gibson. I thought maybe this was uh, California pottery. It's better homes. Then we have a, a wood. All right, let's go. Don't make it dizzy. Let's go see what's in the case. Ooh, Fenton. That's a lot of yellow. I don't know. That looks like Fenton. It's ten dollars. Um, we still have to look at the blue paperweight. Oh, I like uh, that. It's a light up thing. Oh, it is. Yeah. The best. Oh. Ooh. Twelve ninety nine. Um, I feel like that would be made in Afghanistan. Um, I still want to look at the teapot back there. So we have to make sure we come back and look at it. <laughs> and the yellow one. Oh, look at the fox. <laughs> the yellow. It's a hull. That looks like the slow blue. All right, let's go over here and see. Oh, it's a decanter. Ooh. Oh, that looks cute. All right. All right, we'll start at... I always start at the middle end cap. <laughs> Make sure I don't film anybody. Yeah, we have some spongeware. I think we looked at these before. Yeah, we did. About this teapot made in China. These are cool mugs. Oh, the ND. Not worth too much. We have a iris um, corning casserole dish. What about these? Let me see who made them. Oh, it's false graph. I wonder how much the utensils go for. Yeah. Let's move over here. Not for food use. Oh, look at these, um... Palm trees. Oh, it's plastic. <laughs> Christmas tree shop. It's kind of neat. What do we have over here? We have a moose or a reindeer. Princess. That's Nantucket. Ooh, a flower frog. $7.99. So 
nice stoneware too. Mainstay. Oh, we have all these little booties for baby shower. Actually, two dollars. They probably sell for like eight dollars each. Anything else down here? A wax burner. That's pretty. What is that? Wood Hill. Hmm. All right, we gotta look for yellow, yellow. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Anything over here? Let me guess, uh, North Taki. Made in Japan, I never heard of that one. I'm gonna leave us just one cup and saucer. I saw that. About this plate. It's a pretty design. Porcelain. Oh. Andrea. Anything down here? Jam berry false graph. Oh, look at this trinket box. It's a resin. $3.99. The collector plates. Looking for any vintage Tupperware or Texas wear. Yeah, nothing over here. Let's see. I want to look at this. <clears throat> oh, it's heavy. Ooh, I like the blue on that. Hmm. Oh, it's a nice satin. Hey, what about that? Is that a Napoli? Oh, it has stuff in it. Let's be careful. I wonder if it's, um... It's crooked. Oh, it looks like it was repaired. All right, let's go over to the figurines. See if there's anything new. Huh, that's new. <laughs> DWK Corporation. I wonder what it's supposed to be holding. I don't know. Um, anything? Huh. Nothing's popping out at me. Hey, what are these? Made in Japan. Pretty sure these are China. Actually, like the trinket dish. We looked at that last time. All right. It's a looks like an art project. Hmm. We have all the baskets. I think we looked at them. Made in China. What about this one? Made in China. Alright, let's see what we have up here. This vase. I gotta read really tell it's um if 
if it had a sticker on it, it would say made to look like or in the style of Murano. <laughs> Have a brown drip glaze, nappy dish. A cheese cutter here. And hey, pure one. Use that fused glass. Ooh, look at that. I do like that. It's an iridescent on it. <laughs> Is there any signatures? No. Uh, oh. Ooh, there is. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Laudia. Ooh, that might be something I got. It's $12.99. Put it on the cart. <laughs> we have a vintage um vanity tray with a mirror. <gasps> it's kind of heavy. Um $14.99. I'd say that could sell about 30. Have some wooden. Oh god, what's like what's on my finger? Hold on. Okay, so the Fenton is finally on sale. I think I'm gonna do it though. I'm gonna get the big bowl. But it's a small one. I don't know, it has a number on the bottom. I'm not gonna do the small one. Yeah, I don't think that's worth it. So I'm gonna do the big one. What else do we have? Wait, what did I see down here? Oh. It's Rockwell. Sterling Silver. It's a nice bird on there. It's only $3.99. So I'll do that. And the Fenton. What are these? It's Havel in France. The gravy boat. A teacup and saucers. When it's a set, you have a bigger play than the saucer and the teacup. Oh, they're priced individually. Let me go show Michael. Hey, what is that? I don't know. Oh, it has, um... It looks like it's transferred to gold. Not, it's not real gold, though. I can already tell. It feels kind of light. No name on the back. Rip. Oh, is that reverse reverse painted? No. No. I was thinking maybe G George Beard. <laughs> Have nice wine glasses with a gold rim. Those are pretty. Mary gold. Jeanette glass, maybe. Time for coffee, Korea. Oh, look at the little picture. <laughs> All right, let's move. Oh, let's see if these are Jonathan Adler. Oh, Hobby Lobby. Oh, three ninety nine. These are kind of neat, Michael. Oh, look at this glass. I like butterflies too. It's very um artistic and simple. How much is it? Eh, twelve ninety nine. We have um this um crocheted dress and then this. Try to figure this out, Michael. Let's go like that. Wherever <laughs> you want it to go. It looks a little weird. It oh, it has a hat with it too. Oh, maybe. 
It's two ninety nine. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pass. Um, it doesn't hurt to look at the toys. More crocheted. Anything? Oh, did you find your chair? <laughs> Barely fit one chair. Ooh, it's a doll chair. How much is that? Seven ninety nine. Hmm. Yeah, I'll leave that. <clears throat> your toilet. Ooh, it'd be perfect. Put it right by your bed. Mm -hmm. Nice commode. Check out the clear aisle. Oh, we have the Indiana Glass Diamond Point, I think. How much is it? $12.99. Skip on that. Ooh. Um, oh, it's giving me a Fastoria look. <laughs> This could be um, Fastory American. I get it mixed up with Indiana Glass and Fastoria. <laughs> Somebody must have been drunk making this bowl. <laughs> <laughs> it had to be used for something. Anyways. Ooh, down here we have the uh, Indiana bubble for one ninety nine. It's the blue one. So I'm gonna do that. And I probably get like fourteen, fifteen dollars. What else do we have? What are you looking at? Um, I don't see the sterling on it. I don't think that is sterling. And here we have a nice vase, crystal vase. It's kind of nice. Oh, and I'm trying to see if it's Waterford or Polish. Okay, so over here they have all these strawberry shortcake dolls and Accessories. They have a clock, a backpack, and a... I don't know too much about them, so I'm going to have to look them up. This one looks kind of cool. It has a guitar brush. Um, they have a mermaid. I wonder if the year is on them. 2004. I don't know. I might just pick a couple up. That's... Four ninety nine. I think I'm gonna pick some up and then research it later. Four ninety nine. Oh, I don't know. What should I do? All right, let me research some of this. Okay, so the only one worth picking up is the Pink Mermaid Berry Best Friends. And that one's $4.99. And then I'm going to get the toothbrush holder. How much is that? $4.99. Um, I didn't look this one up, but if it doesn't sell, I'll give it to my niece. She'll like that. Take a look in the Christmas section. I like these snowmen. Sleigh bell. We have this wooden made in Philippines, but um, MMA. That's oh, broken. Anything else? I like the squirrel. This frog. I think it's just a shelf sitter. Who made that? PBC. I'll look at the Jack in the Box. 
I like that. Ooh, look at this cat. <laughs> it looks a little creepy because it has a human face, kind of. I don't know, it's a ceramic. $2.99. Oops. Put that in there. I'm going to check over, make sure there's no damage before I check out. Nice hand-blown ornament. Iron art glass design made in Poland. $3.99. Hmm. What is inside? So it's supposed to be attached to something. Oh, it is. The thing broke off. That's why it's $3.99. We have a nice vintage lighthouse made in Taiwan, Frank Kell. Ooh, look at this trinket. Oh, well, yeah, look at that. It's missing a person or an animal. It still works. I don't see a price on it. I wonder what this mushroom went to. <laughs> Put it there. Um, this looks like it could be Department 56. No, it's Party Light. All right. We have a wooden nutcracker. That's vintage. Oh, it's only $2. Wood nutcracker. I'm gonna get that. Probably get like 15 to 20. I found some candles, so we're gonna look for glassy baby or cats. <laughs> um, is that party light? Looks like the box, yeah. What? They made glasses like that? Oh wow, they're pretty. Nothing over here. Let's see about these Santa plates. Looks like it could be Fitz and Floyd. Yeah. IQ, I know I saw that. <laughs> IQ accessories. Me to look like it's vintage. Now we have a Mickey Mouse snowman, Disney. Cookies for Santa, that's cute. Eh. Maybe if it was a little bit closer to Christmas for something like that. Um, we have a star. Some wreaths. Let's go on the other side. Pasta. Non-toxic. Okay. <laughs> oh, these look like the Courier and Ives. Clearing Ives Fox Hunting. It's in the red. $79.99, but you get all of that. I feel like that's worth picking up. Hmm. Let me go ask Michael. Michael, what about hmm. um the Courier and Ives? It's it's Fox Hunting. But you get the Gravy bow and serving dishes with it. Creamer. Creamer, no sugar. Uh, $79.99. Yeah. Um, uh, I say we save the money for the auction. Oh, that's true. Yeah, they have some good stuff there. We're going to have to... We have a certain amount of money just for the auction, so... Okay, so we didn't see anything else in there. We're going to head over to the auction, and we're going to show you some awesome stuff that they have. Okay, here we are. 
I like this auction because it's in the evening. We don't have to rush. Ooh, look at these. Left in. Oh, they're not. I don't know what the A is. But I think they're supposed to be kissing. <laughs> I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get the Murano Angels. Ooh. I don't know what that one is. Shawnee Pottery, maybe. Look at the cat. I'm trying to see if there's a name on it. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna get that. Oh, Roseville. This is Roseville. This is old. I'm gonna get that. Yeah. I'm gonna get that. Definitely getting that. This is Murano. Look at that. Ooh. Oh my god. And it's signed. I'm gonna get that. Fenton. Cobalt Blue. I'm gonna get this. <laughs> That's Northwood. This one possibly could be Northwood. That's antique. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get this. Oh, that's Mark Murano. It's a Millaflory. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get this. <laughs> it's Rookwood. I believe that's 1956. I'm gonna get that. I never held one before. Royal Dalton. I don't know how much that would go for. I'm gonna research that. This vase. It's a nice enamel. Hand painted. Um, I believe that's Limoges. All the Roseville. Okay. Ooh. Have some watches and trains. German Stein. What are these? Just hand blown ornaments. Oh, look at the duck. That's cool. Ooh. I don't know about if, with the, if that's cheap, I'll get it. It has a little bit of damage. What else do we have? A lot of old pictures. That's what I wanted to look at. These. Ooh. And it tells information on the bottom. Or the back. I mean, that's a postcard, though. These are probably worth more. Oh, I love old photos. Look at that, the theater. Huh. Ooh. They don't know where we are. All these. Yeah, me too. Ooh, look at that. Look, this is kind of big. I'm going to skip on that. Ooh. The arrowheads. 